Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Growing Up Blue where I post weekly vlogs about my Australian cattle dog puppy Rocket and take you along on our training journey and puppy adventures. Today I'm going to be showing you how we travel in the car with our puppy. So traveling these days has been looking a little bit different due to the pandemic, but we're still managing to embrace socially distanced car trips when we can. When we first got Rocket, we wanted him to be a dog that went everywhere with us, went on all our adventures with us, and so far he's lived up to that. He's been really great on car rides, and honestly, he sleeps for most of them. In this video, I am going to show you how we pack for Rocket, what we use in the car for him, and I'm also going to be giving you guys some tips for traveling with a dog in the car. But before before we get started, I post weekly videos of Rocket, so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you want to follow along on our Growing Up Blue journey. So when I am packing for Rocket, I always make sure to pack a blanket for him as well as his towel. This way he always has some comfy stuff to use. Sometimes if it's a really long car ride, I'll put it in the back seat with him. But if not, this can be used for his travel crate. I always make sure to pack plenty of food as well. And of course, some treats. I always grab a few puppy pads too. Now he is potty trained, but because he is still young, I grab these just in case of any accidents. They open up and I can show you how big they are. They're pretty big, so they're good to lay out by a door if we're at a motel, but they also are very absorbent as they're made to be, so they can be used to clean up any spills if he spills a water bottle and you have to clean it up real quick. I also always pack his travel bowl, and this is great for when we're stopping and he needs to eat a little bit of food or drink some water. It just pops right open and you can use it as a little bowl. It has a clip which is good to attach to your backpack if you're going hiking, and it collapses super easily. Now, when we're on a car ride, I try not to give him too much water before we leave or too much water actually in the car so he doesn't have to go potty every two seconds, but this is good for the really long days when you're stopping at a rest stop. So when you're traveling, one of my biggest tips is to bring a variety of toys. Now I always feel like we pack more for Rocket than we actually do for us, but it's important because you don't want to be in a hotel or a motel at 11 p.m. at night and then him being loud and barking because you don't have the right kind of toy. Trust me, Rocket is very particular and you can tell when he doesn't want a soft toy and that just won't cut it, so you need something hard like these Nyla Bone keys. I've also notice that when he is loud and barking it helps to have a squeaky toy because sometimes I feel like he just wants to make noise so if you give him something like this he'll chew on this and it'll squeak and believe it or not it's a lot quieter than his barking and it won't bother any neighbors late at night or even during the day. Now I always make sure to pack his horse. He's been doing this thing lately where he'll actually fall asleep with his horse in his mouth, almost like it's a doggy pacifier of sorts, but that brings him comfort and whenever the horse comes out that kind of calms him down and tells him that he's ready for bed. So this is a must have, especially if you want to get sleep on the road. I also always make sure if we're going on a trip where there will be room to run without a fence that I bring this 25 foot long lead. It attaches to his collar. It's just basically a really long leash and with this on I can do things like playing fetch with him not feeling too much like he's on a leash or being too restricted. So this allows more freedom of running but of course you have control and a limit of where exactly he can go. And finally, my biggest tip would definitely be to bring Kongs. Now these aren't packed just yet. What I would normally do is I would take these Kongs and I would stuff them with either plain yogurt, peanut butter, or even wet dog food. Basically anything that's safe for your dog to have that can be frozen. So before your trip, load up a ton of Kongs, put them in a freezer, and have them get cold and frozen overnight. Then when you're ready to leave, put them in a cooler or a cooler bag 
And then if you are ever somewhere where you need him to be occupied for like an hour, these Kongs are literal lifesavers. Okay, so when Racket comes in the car, for the same reasons that I just explained about the keys and having different types of toys, I will generally give him a soft toy like this ram with a squeaker in it. And then I will also give him a more chewy toy like this Himalayan dog chew cheese stick and this Breathe Right Fetch Stick by Chuck It. So these will stay on the seat next to him. Like I said, I might put a blanket down, but other than that, we're all packed. So let's go get Rocket in the car. Let's go in the car ride. We're gonna go in a car ride. Let's go in a car ride. There you go, buddy. Okay, sit down, sit down, sit down. Good boy, good boy. So when he's in the car, we do use a doggy seatbelt, which is this thing right here. So as you can see, this one end, it just goes right into a normal seatbelt holder. So I just put it in the middle one and I click it in. And then up here, I take off his leash and then I'll just put it in a pocket or somewhere that's easy to reach. And then with the other end of the seatbelt, I'll just clip it right where his leash was on his harness. There we go. So now he is all strapped in and ready for some safety first. Right, Bob? So the way that this doggy seatbelt works is that you hook it on his harness, come on, Bob, rather than on his collar. Because if the car were to abruptly stop, you would want it to pull his whole body back rather than around his neck, which could potentially choke him. So it's much safer for him this way. Ready for a ride? So my last tip of the day is arguably one of the most important, and that is to make sure that you pack a lot of doggy bags. I know that some dogs can be shy poopers, like Rocket, who will literally not go to the bathroom for the entire day or weekend, which probably is not healthy. We have to literally force him and play bell noises on our phone to try and provoke him to go potty. But no matter what, pack a lot of these because you do not want to be somewhere without them. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. While you're at it, turn on the notification bell to never miss a vlog growing up blue and stay up to date on all things Australian cattle dogs. I also go through and read all of the comments that you guys leave me and then I respond to all of them. So tell me in the comments below, have you taken your puppy on a car ride before or a long trip? How did it go? I know some dogs can get car sick and not do so hot in the car, so let me know how your dog travels in the car. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye!